So I'm Gulshan Kumar. I am 29 years old. I graduated from San Francisco State in the class of 2015. My major was business admin, but I had the emphasis on small business and entrepreneurship. So my journey to Pathwater is very, very small brand. You know, when we started, uh, we were literally selling cases of water out of our car, going door to door to 7-Eleven schools up and down California just to try to build a brand. You know, we didn't start the business because we really cared about sustainability off the bat. Once we actually started doing more digging and learning about how big the problem was, that's when we got passionate about it. And I think living in the Bay Area, California specifically, it's, it's a much more progressive state. And I think we really, you're aware and people bring that to attention and you know, you're just more, you have an understanding of sustainability just because of the place we live, right? Versus like a place like Kentucky. They don't have sustainable practices. And I think what was big for us was we saw the trend happening well before anybody else did, right? We kind of looked like three or four years down the line. And what I mean by that is you go to a grocery store three or four years ago, they stopped selling or serving single-use plastic bags. They went to reusable bags, right? There was already a mandate in California in 2014 to stop selling uh, plastic bottled water on private properties. So we saw the trend happening with plastic bags, and then just a couple years ago, you saw the same thing with plastic straws, right? Everybody's either switching to an aluminum straw or a paper straw. Well, the next big plastic item on the list is what? It's bottled water. So we kind of saw the trend happening, and it's like, how can you innovate that to kind of mirror what's going on with these other big plastic items? You know, we want to use this bottle as a platform for sustainability. We always try to put planet before profit. And I think, you know, just with that authenticity that we provide and really caring about the planet and creating real solutions versus alternatives, um, that's where we've been able to get to where we're at. Uh, the water is sourced currently in California. And then, you know, since we ship across the country, we're always trying to look as a business, you're never going to be 100% perfect, but we're always every day we're looking to improve and reach that 100% efficiency in terms of sustainability, right? So shipping water is not the best thing for the planet. So what we can do to mitigate that is we're setting up uh, production plants on the East Coast as well, right? So you're not shipping water from California to the East Coast. Um, so setting up too many factoring facilities is one way to reduce your carbon footprint. Also, we have an aluminum cap coming out in two months. So it's going to be the first 100% aluminum uh, path water bottle with no plastic on it that's also refillable, which I hope would make us the most sustainable bottle of water in the world. Um, that's really our goal. And in terms of just the water itself, the reason why we stuck to purified versus spring is for the fact that if you're packing spring water, you're really tied to that one source, right? So let's just say you use a spring here in California, you would have to package that here and ship it all around the country um, plus internationally, right? But if you do purified, you can actually set up purification machines all across the country and that way you're not shipping water. Aluminum, it's the most valuable material in recycling bin. It has over a 70% recycle rate versus plastic globally is, less, is recycled less than 10%, right? Super alarming. And that just kind of speaks to that, um, that tagline by the Washington Post that was posted last year or two years ago that there is going to be more plastic in our oceans than fish by 2050 by weight, right? That's super alarming. Um, if you go to New York, literally on New York, there's a ticker of when we will not be able to reverse climate change. These are things that are, are really, really scary to me. And I think they're even scarier for younger generations, right? Because they're just kind of born into this planet and the humans before them essentially trashed it. And what can they do to kind of reverse what's happening? We did uh, analysis with over 5,000 of our subscribers, a market research study, and the average refill is about eight to 10 times, over 80% of people do that, which is amazing because we did a life cycle analysis and after three refills of our product, uh, Pathwater is actually carbon neutral. After four refills, it's carbon negative. So it's like a four to restore is like what we like to say. I think just being aware of your daily patterns and routines is, is a quick way to minimize um, plastic consumption. And there's so many different brands, products now that make it more convenient and easy for you to kind of live a more sustainable lifestyle. Um, and you're going to continue to see that. Like, like I said, like a, I just saw something in terms of toothpaste where they're little pebbles now versus a, being sold in a plastic tube, right? Just much more better for the planet. Um, you see these large corporations now, um, there's a, a, something called a loop system that essentially what they're doing is a refillable model, right? So for example, Haagen-Dazs ice cream, they're, they're doing a beta test right now where it's an aluminum container of ice cream that can be sent back to the store, washed, repurposed, and then packed with ice cream again. So instead of that little paper carton, right? Um, there's companies that are starting to do this now.
you know, just be more aware, right? Like I said, there is a ticker in New York of when our planet will not be able to reverse climate change. And I think it starts by everybody making minor adjustments to their lifestyle, right? I'm not asking you to completely stop using plastic and everything that you do. I'm just asking you to be more aware because each person makes a vital impact if they do it collectively. Even though there's products like Pathwater that are coming out and other sustainable products, it's not enough. It's not enough. Like, it's not about being innovative and using these products. It's more about like, how can you minimize your, your, your waste in every single way? At the end of the day, reusability is the best form of sustainability, right? You're also saving dollars in your pocket by reusing stuff. So yeah, I would, I would leave with that. Just kind of be more aware of what you're doing and make, and just know that every little thing that you do actually does make an impact on a much larger scale.